travel is back in a big way. And when it comes time for you to travel, you're gonna want tech gear that can go the mile with you. So not only do I declare the items on this list to be the best travel tech of 2022, I literally do not go anywhere without them. Hey friends, I'm Teja Custody and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips and app reviews. Today, I'm sharing the top 10 most essential travel accessories that I use every time I travel. And you know, for good measure, I'm throwing a bonus in at the end as well. So remember, as we go through today's video, I have affiliate links listed in the description below for your convenience. You ready? Then let's go. First up on the list is one of the most important things you're going to need for international travel, an outlet adapter. There are literally thousands for you to choose from and the one you need is going to depend on the location you're traveling to. So I've got a few different adapters, including this Vintar one for European outlets. It actually comes in a two or three pack. They are very lightweight for travel. And what I like most about these ones is that they come with two standard North American outlets and two USB ports. Now this particular adapter is 250 volts. So we were just in Spain and I was able to charge both my phones, iPad and Apple Watch at once with no issues. The other adapters I have are for travel in China, New Zealand, and Australia, Fiji, and the like. And they are the Ori brand. And these ones I have are 250 volts as well. And they're an older model, but they're very lightweight and so small, so they don't take up a lot of space on the outlet. I'll link to a similar model below. But a few pro tips when it comes to adapters. Tip number one, bring more than one. In fact, if you're traveling solo, I would recommend bringing two, but it, it's starting to rain. Oh no. Uh oh. Umbrella is up. We carry on. But a few pro tips when it comes to traveling with adapters. Tip number one if you're traveling solo, I'd recommend bringing at least two adapters. If you're traveling with a partner, you wanna consider at least three. That way, you can each have an adapter by the bedside, plus, you can have one in the bathroom when you're getting ready. And tip number two. If you don't wanna have different travel adapters for different countries, I get it. You could actually get a universal travel adapter. I will link to an option like this one where you can swap out the outlet, but keep in mind that universal ones tend to be a bit bigger and can take up more space. And I also want you to keep in mind that Prime Day is coming up and most of the items on this list will see discounts. Okay, coming in second on my list is a universal charging cable. This is so handy for all your devices, regardless of the connector. So this is the Native Union Universal 6.5 foot ultra strong reinforced charging cable. This baby is three in one. So you get a lightning, USB-C and micro USB all in one cable. I like that it works via USB because most planes have USB charging ports now. Plus this cord is extremely durable too. And though this particular cable is a little on the expensive side, it is backed by a lifetime warranty. The next most important thing you're going to need for travel are earbuds or wired headphones. Do not leave home without them. I won't spend a lot of time here on different earbud options, but there are so many. I've got the Apple AirPods Pro, but there are good JBLs and a whack of others on the market. To be honest, the most important thing for the plane is a pair of wired headphones, because if that plane has a seat back screen, you're gonna need a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, assuming you don't get one loaned on the flight. So there are a ton of good options from cheap to expensive. I will link to these Bose ones that I have below, but it's always good to keep a little pair on you just in case. Number four on the list is a portable charger because if our phones die, are we even really alive? But in all seriousness, you probably can't go wrong with Anchor, Belkin or Mophie when it comes to portable chargers. This here is the Belkin USB-C power bank and it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable and features 10,000 milliamp hours for faster charging. And it'll provide about 36 hours of additional battery life for your phone. And if you wanna ramp up to fast charging, you're gonna use a separate USB-C to lightning cable for certain iPhone models. But this will charge just about any smartphone you have from Pixel to Galaxy devices to iPhones and more. 
And if you're looking for something a little easier on the pocketbook, this Anchor PowerCore power bank is a great alternative. This one is 5,000 milliamp hours and has a fast charging capability, but will also hold enough juice to provide a full charge on nearly all smartphones. This one connects via USB, so you're going to need your own compatible cable for this, but then you're off to the races. And before we get to number five of the best travel tech, if you're liking this video so far, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Okay, we move on to number five. By now we've gone over headphones and charging cables and the like, and there's nothing worse than having all your cables stuck and tangled up and buried at the bottom of your bag. That's not how we roll. You're going to want an organizer. So this is the BagSmart Electronics Organizer, and it's just a handy little way to keep all your bits and bobs sorted. It's nice and compact and not heavy or bulky. You can organize your cables, wired headphones, batteries, even portable chargers, however you'd like. Plus there's a little SD card holder too. So mainly what you wanna keep in mind with a cable organizer is that you get one that opens flat like this one for easy access. Okay, this next travel accessory has been with me since the beginning of time. Okay, well, 2015, but that's pretty much a lifetime ago. You need to invest in a good travel pillow. I have a couple because of course I do, but my go-to is the hoodie pillow. This one I have is the inflatable version. So it's super compact to tuck away in your carry-on and then when you need it, you can just inflate it at that time. And I am obsessed with the hood for multiple reasons. One, I hate my hair touching a plane seat. Yeah, I said it. And two, you can tighten it around your head and go incognito for a little shut eye. Brilliant. If this is not your jam, I'd also recommend this Travel Rest Ultimate Travel Pillow. I've got this exact one and it is also inflatable and rolls really compact when you're not in use. The next item I never travel without is my iPad. So I'd recommend an e-reader or tablet of your choice depending on your needs. Obviously, I love my iPad. I watch all my downloaded Netflix shows on it, but I will also link to the Fire HD tablet, which you can definitely expect Prime Day deals on. And I'll also link to the Kindle Paperwhite if you just prefer to bring a lightweight e-reader on vacation as opposed to a tablet. The next piece of gear that has been honestly one of the best travel purchases I've ever made is a portable luggage scale. I can't even count the amount of times that I have physically stood on a scale and then hoisted up my luggage to try to get the weight. It's insane. So this is the eTech City Portable Digital Luggage Scale. It's lightweight, easy to throw in your carry-on, and it will read up to 110 pounds. All you have to do is hook the strap around your checked bag and lift it up and the reader gives you the weight. And yes, it's accurate. I've had mine since 2018 and it's been on the nose every single time. And I haven't had to change the battery yet. I know. You can also change the unit as well with this scale and it does come in different colors as well if you desire, or you can buy a two pack. So now that we've gone through a lot of the tech accessories that you need for travel, let's talk about keeping all these devices clean because you, COVID, but in all seriousness, you're going to be touching a lot of surfaces when you travel, plus you might have a lot of sunscreen on and your screens are bound to get dirty. That is where the Tech Armor cleaning kit comes in. Now, no, I don't expect you to travel with this entire kit, but the reason I love this kit is A, it's a great price, and B, it comes with cleaning wipes. These are the golden ticket when it comes to your travel needs. This way you don't have to lug around a screen cleaner, but you can still clean and disinfect your device screens safely. So via the link below, you can check out all the sprays and cloths and wipes that come in this kit. But put it this way, I've had mine since 2017 and I haven't had to replace it yet. And with that, we have come to number 10 on my list and I might have saved the best for last. When I say you need to invest in a great travel backpack, I mean it. You need to invest in a great travel backpack. There are what seems like a million on the market, but personally, I'm obsessed with my Tortuga backpack. In fact, I had bought my husband the Tortuga set out backpack in 2019, and he loved it so much that I wanted my own. So hang with me a minute while I break down what I love most about these backpacks. 
The set out, for example, which to be honest, I don't even know if Tortuga carries this on their site anymore, but I found it on sale on Amazon. Anyway, it's water resistant, has lockable zippers, it zips completely open so you can pack it like a suitcase, but carry it like a backpack. It'll carry your laptop and has great storage for all your smaller electronics. I could go on and on about the features but we'd be here all day. So naturally, when my birthday rolled around, I asked for my own Tortuga backpack. And I gotta tell ya, to this day, one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. I've got the Tortuga Outbreaker laptop backpack and safe to say, I'm obsessed. Here is just a quick rundown of some of my favorite features. You can fit everything you need while still fitting it under the seat in front of you. There's a pass-through sleeve, so you plop your bag right on top of your luggage. The cushioned shoulder straps and padding on the back make it the most comfortable backpack I've ever worn. Plus, you can tuck the straps away. Gosh, I love that feature too. There is an expandable water bottle holder, and on the other side, there's a handle. There are a couple easy access pockets in the front, but once again, one of the best features to me is that it opens completely flat. So this model in various spots, so you can pack it like a suitcase and have it easier to access all of your items. And it's so nice not having to dig around for stuff at the bottom of a bag. It's got a padded laptop sleeve and actually has multiple spots for a tablet or e-reader. Plus, this baby has a top front pocket where you can organize all kinds of other tech. So as an example, I keep my iPad, two phones, a pen, headphones, tech cleaning wipes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all in here with easy access, but it's still protected. And I love in this section that there's another zipped area where I can keep important travel documents safe. I know I'm gushing and going on and on about Tortuga backpacks, but I declare them game changers. And no, I'm not sponsored by them or any of the products in this video. Though Tortuga, if you're watching, call me. In all seriousness, I just love these and I think you will too. So here's what I'd recommend. I will link to the Tortuga website below. They have a ton of backpacks for you to choose from. And I'd also recommend thinking about how it is that you travel and what you need with you when you travel. And then you can decide from there. It never hurts to peruse these on Amazon either. See if you can get some sale prices through there since these are an investment piece. All right, I know this video is way too long as it is, but as promised, here's a bonus for you. A smartwatch. I know, it's a bit of a splurge and it's not like it's a super necessity, but if you can afford one, it's always great companion to have with you on your travel adventures. The good news is that there are a ton of options when it comes to smartwatches, depending on your needs and preferences. So I have an Apple Watch, but if you want something more scaled back, or maybe you're a member of the Android family, there are tons of options out there. I will link to a couple of great ones below. But this is something that, no, it's not a necessity by any means, but if you can afford one, it is a nice accessory to have. Anyhow, that is finally it. Remember, I have affiliate links all listed for you in the description below. And if you are still watching at this point, number one, thank you. Number two, travel safely. And number three, you must definitely be a custodian. So drop custodian in the comments below because I personally wanna tell you how awesome you are. And now I wanna hear from you. What is your go-to travel gear? Did it make this list? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more content just like this. You know you wanna. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Could you see this? Go get that squirrel. Hi, Cora.